Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I will talk about how to configure proxy settings, using group policy preferences in Windows Server 2019, and how to implement this, by setting a policy that applies to all computers connected to the server. That is, you can, through the domain server, set a policy that applies to the client computers, and control how to configure the proxy settings for the client computers. I have a computer running Windows 10, and I want to control the proxy settings by applying a policy on the server that does this automatically. It is known that the proxy server, is a dedicated server that acts as the intermediate between server that provides service, and its requesting client. In this case, the client doesn't have to communicate directly through the internet, thus increasing the security. That is why we usually use proxy server in enterprise network, as a standard feature. Windows machine can be configured to use explicit proxy, and administrator can also configure proxy settings using group policy preferences, to maintain the configuration consistency within the domain server 2019. The proxy is necessary for the client to be able to surf the internet safely, and efficiently using Microsoft Edge, Chrome or any other browser. I will now explain to you step by step, how to configure proxy settings using group policy preferences in Windows Server 2019 domain. First step open server manager. From the tools menu, click on group policy management. I will create a new object by right clicking on the group policy object, and then from the menu, select new. Choose an appropriate name for this policy so that it is easy to find and use, and associate with OUs later. After creating a new policy, open it by right-clicking on it, and from the menu select Edit. To apply a policy that controls configure proxy settings to users, click on User Configuration. Then open Preferences. Then open, Windows Settings. Under Windows Settings, stand on the registry, right-click on it, and from the menu select New, then Registry Item. Leave the action as set to Update, so that the policy when applied to the client computers is always updated. Also leave the Hive as it is at key current user, because the policy will be applied at the user level, and not at the machine or computer level. Key path, the path must be specified exactly, and it is as follows. Click on the three dots button. Click on, key current user. Then click on, software. Then click on, Microsoft. Under Microsoft, click on Windows. Under Windows, click on current version. Then click on Internet Settings. After selecting the path, press the Select button. In Value Name, type Proxy Enable One Word. Without a space between it, the first letter of each word must be capitalized, the letter P is capitalized, and the letter E is also capitalized, don't forget that. In Value Type, choose Reg Dord. Then in value data, write 0 7 times, then at the end write 1. And finally, in base, select hexadecimal, then press the apply button, then OK. The first step has already been done, and this step is what enables the proxy settings, inside the client's computer. The second step, also right click on registry, and from the menu select new, and then select registry item. Leave the options as they are, just like we did in the first step, and also specify the same path as what appears in front of you on the screen. In value name, type proxy server one word with no space in between. The first letter of each word must be capitalized, the letter P is capital, and also the letter S is capital, don't forget that. In value type, leave it as is on reg S E. In value data, type the IP address of the proxy server, which will enable the client to browse the internet, and after typing the server IP, type the port number, 
replace the IP of your server. Then, click on the apply button, then OK. This step will set the IP address and port number in the place designated for it within the proxy setting, as in the client computers that are connected to the server. With the same steps, we make the last step of configure proxy settings, right click on registry, then from the menu select new, then registry item. Leave the options as they are, just like we did in the first step, and also specify the same path as what appears in front of you on the screen. In value name write, proxy override is one word without a space in between, and write the first letter of each word with a capital letter, the P writes a capital letter, and O also writes a capital letter, don't forget that. In value data this time you will type exception site list or exception IP address, you can write a list of exceptional sites or addresses separated by a semicolon and then add local at the end of the list to ensure that the bypass proxy server for local addresses option is selected in the result. Write all the exceptional IP addresses separated by a semicolon between each address. Then add local at the end of the list. Then, click on the apply button, then OK. With this step, configure proxy settings has been completed. We will now link this policy with users so that it can be applied immediately. I will link this policy to the container called test. For example, you can link it to any OUs on your server. Select the policy and press the OK button. Then we will go to the client's computer to see the policy from the proxy settings and whether it has been applied or not. Now open the proxy settings through the Chrome browser. After opening the browser, click on the three dots menu at the top right, and from the menu open settings. Click on advanced, then click on system, then click on open your computer proxy settings. Very good, the settings are set on the client computer. When the user log in to Windows, an exceptional IP address is also set. We will notice that the user can lock or open the proxy settings and he can also edit these settings. If you want to prevent the user from changing any settings on the proxy, you can lock the settings from the group policy. Go to the server, and open the same policy that we created, and right-click on it and select Edit. Click on User Configuration, then Policies, then Administrative Templates. Then click on Windows Components. Then click on Internet Explorer. Then on the right side, search for Prevent Changing Proxy Settings. Click on Prevent Changing Proxy Settings, and then select the Enable option, then click on the Apply button, then OK. This step will make the user unable to change the proxy settings. We will go again to the client's computer, and you can do a restart to the computer, or type the command to update the group policy instead of doing a restart to the computer. Open CMD, type GP update slash force and press enter. The command will update the settings without restarting the computer, after that, you will find that the user is not allowed to modify, change or open the proxy settings, that is, the user has been prevented from accessing the proxy settings. Of course you can change the policy from the server, if you want to. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.